welcome welcome back to my channel today we are learning how to play higher grounds higher ground using five chords and we are playing using key f key f is this key the key before the three black keys the key before the three black keys is key f okay so uh, then let's play the scale of key F so that we will deduce our chords. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So that's the scale of key F. And we need five chords. What are the five chords? This is the do. This is the do. Is the do and that's the bass for the bass you will play the two octave do then we'll need re, do, re. so this is the re this is the do this is the re so for the re it's a re is a g b flat and D, G, B flat. So this is Re. This is Re. Okay. The next chord we need is Mi, Do, Re, Mi. So this is the Mi, Do, Re, Mi. So this is the Mi. So for the purpose of, so this is Mi, Mi. But for the purpose of this lesson. Let's move this here. You can play the me like this. You can also play it like this. It's the same. It's just the position of the keys that has changed. This key was here. You can either play it like this or you can play it like this. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm playing the me like this. I'm playing like this. If I play it like this too, it's, there's no problem. Okay. The next chord that we need is fa. Okay, so this is the fa. So you play the two, the two octave fa. For the treble, it's like this. It's a F, B flat, and D. F, B flat, and D. So this is fa, then you play either one or the one or the two. You can put your finger on the two octave fa. So this is fa. Okay. The last chord that we will need is um, so. This is so. This is so. Okay. So which means the bass is going to be this one. This two. If you are not comfortable playing the two fingers, you can play one. It's the same. For the B, uh, for the treble, it's going to be G, um, C, and E. G, C, and E. For the purpose of this lesson, this is how you should play it. So you can play it like this. It's the same. This key is also here. But for the purpose of this lesson, let's play it like this. So, this is so, this is so, okay. And how is the song going to move? Um, we are going to play do three beats. So, one, two, three. And go to fa, two beats. And come to do one beat, re one beat, and so two beats, and go back to do two beats, fa two beats, then come to me one beat, and come to re one beat, and come to so one beat, and end at do two beats. So this is the for the verse. That is the first portion of the song. The second portion of the song, which is the chorus, uh, 
Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Okay, so the the progression is do three beats, fa two beats, then come to re one beat, so one beat, and come to do two beats, and, and come to do three beats, and come to me one beat, and come to fa two beats. And come to re one beat, and come to so. The so is two beats. When it comes to the so, the first so you play it like this, and the second so is like this. The original way to play the so is like this, but because you are playing the so twice, to give it a nice tune, you play the first so like this. And the second so like this okay then you end at do okay so you see the progression as i play the song so let's do the verse first then we'll do the chorus then we'll put the two together simple as that let's take it let's take the chorus i am not good at singing so uh, bear with me if i'm not able to sing the song well so the chorus is Lord, lift me up and let me As simple as that so you just follow the progression and watch my fingers so go over the verse go over the verse when you become perfect you go over the chorus you go over the chorus then you put the two together then you are fine to go so let's put the two together and see how it will look like please if you haven't subscribed to this channel go please go under the video press the red subscribe button to support your brother and also like the video by pressing the thumbs up okay i want to teach you something when you are ending the song instead of ending the song you can, and end, end it like this and so when you are ending don't end like this end it like this it's the same it's this one is do in do in root position and this one is do in first inversion this key is what i have brought here so this is do in root position and this is do in first inversion so when you are ending the song always end with the do in first inversion let's take an example so that we see 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go under the video and press the subscribe button to support your brother and also press the thumbs up to like the video. And I'm also waiting for any comments on this video. Bye and see you in the next lesson.